Hi, my name is Sam. In 2016, I set out to build the world's most sustainable locomotives to help reduce the environmental impact of transportation. To succeed on this mission, I realised that we had to rediscover the steam locomotive. That lifelike combination of earth, fire and water. I then spent two years planning and raising funds to build a full-size prototype locomotive. With the help of friend and business partner Nico, in 2018 I began building a sustainable steam locomotive to demonstrate that we as a planet, in the name of modernity, had abandoned one of our best options for sustainable transport. We had not seen the wood for the trees, quite literally. Despite this, and thanks to a small handful of engineers, namely Livio Dante Porter, steam locomotive technology never stopped improving after it was abandoned in the second half of the 20th century. I decided to build the boiler first because this locomotive incorporated a wholly different and unproven boiler design. After six months of fine tuning and testing, the boiler met its design brief perfectly. No smoke, no sparks, no explosion risk, and very quick to get up to pressure from cold. A number of viewers on YouTube have actually noticed that these are too widely spaced to be stays and this actually doesn't contain any water. It's not The firebox is not water walled so stays can't break and need to be replaced. All of the water is contained in this section of the boiler and there's actually no pressure on the shell at all. No boiler pressure, no water against the shell. It has within that shell a water tube type of heat exchanger. So when I was designing this boiler, safety was a really important factor for me. And the combination of a stainless dry firebox and a low volume water tube heat exchanger has meant that this boiler cannot explode. Not quite an hour yet and we're ready to go for a run, aren't we? Yep. Ooh, that's a big thing. Couple of those. With the boiler proven, we met with the management team of Dunedin Railways with a view to trialling the locomotive on their 60km tourist railway. However, due to a certain virus and the global collapse of the tourist industry in early 2020, Dunedin Railways were unable to agree to locomotive trials and were forced to mothball their operation. It was not long after this that I met Philip. This is Philip through a business mentoring program. Philip said, why not start a YouTube channel? So I did. Philip's advice was particularly wise because whereas I'd been stuck in a catch-22, first needing to prove the locomotive in order to raise the capital to build it, YouTube and Patreon offered the possibility of funding the locomotive by building it. To kick off the project in 2021, here's a quick recap of what we've covered since starting the YouTube channel in September 2020. Hi, my name is Sam. I'm on a mission to make transport sustainable using the power of steam. Welcome to my first episode of a project to build a modern, sustainable steam locomotive. In 2020, we focused on the design and construction of new pumps to replace those that the boiler was temporarily equipped with for initial fine tuning and testing. As mentioned, this is no ordinary boiler, and as such, it requires no ordinary pumps. Come out. Hmm, I haven't seen this coming. There we are. We also had a look at options for mechanically firing wood fuel into the new boiler, 
along with some trials of different forms, such as wood chips, pellets and briquettes. To learn more about mechanically handling wood fuel, I visited a local kiln. This kiln is heated by waste wood, so it has a furnace that burns the wood chip and sawdust from the processing of firewood. Yeah, just coming in from a bin out the back, which you see, and there's an auger there. Um, and then there's a ram and a chute that comes up and into the middle, and it just it drops into that chute and it pushes it up. Tried lighting the boiler up with the bio bricks or the compressed beechwood uh, bricks using two bags of those bricks. So that's 20 kilos, got the boiler from cold up to 70 psi. We've just started firing in some of the nature's flame pallets. We didn't have any more of the compressed bricks. Nico's just fired three shovelfuls into the firebox. We made tea with weed killer after using the Locos boiler to deal with weeds around the workshop. I announced an exciting project to build a wood fueled tractor that we're calling the Ag Loco, the design of which required some research. What I'm going to begin building is an agricultural locomotive or an ag loco. And whilst it's not exactly a traction engine, it is really a traction engine, but a very modern version. One that is going to meet the needs of modern farmers and modern transportation. So this is a vent suspension, so you can see it's all linked backwards. And they fully frozen. Yeah. So a PDO drive, you've got 540, you've got 1000, and on some fence you've got 750, so... It's got speed sensors all over the place, yeah. hasn't it? We also steam the boiler every two weeks throughout the year, using old pallets for fuel. The result was someone saving a lot of money at the dump and a firebox full of nails. When I designed this boiler, I didn't actually design it to burn nails. So the grate wasn't designed to rock and dump anything that couldn't be burned. Whereas typically locomotive boilers would be designed to burn coal and there'd be a lot of clinker and incombustible components that would have to be dumped off the grate. So with wood, that problem doesn't exist except when you burn wood with nails in it. For a start this year, I'm looking forward to setting up the boiler with new pumps and plumbing, and I'm really excited to start building the Ag Loco. I believe the Ag Loco is going to accelerate the project significantly. So keep an eye out for upcoming updates, and as always, a massive thank you to everyone who is supporting this work, whether that's by becoming a patron, donating directly to the project, or lending a helping hand. Thank you. Please hit the subscribe button, and make sure you check out my page on Patreon. I'd love you to join the project to help me on my mission to build the world's most sustainable locomotives, using nothing less than the power of steam.